um, nowadays, like people aren't really looking for aren't looking to Japan for their gaming fix. So I feel like they've really dropped off. Yeah, I I, I think so. Like I really thought that um Switch was like like a, gonna be huge. It's not really though, is it? I always keep telling myself, yeah, yeah, I'll buy a Switch one day. That day hasn't come yet. If anything, um, I'd probably buy a, um, what would I buy? I don't think I don't think I'd buy a console nowadays. Anything half decent comes out on PC. Nothing's uh, exclusive anymore. So, what's the point? He gives up his scales, good. All right, let's see how many. How many eh, let's see how many scales I've actually got. How many scalies have I got? Scales, eighty-three. Okay, this presents a bit of an issue. In that, hmm. I mean, I can sell them for one each, but I don't know. There you go. Do some work, Cloud. Also, Japan had a bunch of really passionate otaku. This is true. In the 80s and 90s. Who wanted to tell stories, but it kind of dropped off and everyone now is derived in some way. Yep. Even the OGs. Like, um... Fucking Hideki Anno. The creator of, um... Wings of Oniyami there, and um, Shinseki Evangelion, like he dropped off man. That rebuild of Evangelion was utter horse shit. That made me like angry, legit angry. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? To the point where I now look back at the TV series and I was like, okay. Episodes 1 to 26, that's where Evangelion began and ended. I don't need I don't even need the death rebirth and end of Evangelion movies. Yeah, he is burnt out. Did you watch the NHK doc? Yeah, yeah, please link it. I haven't seen it. But I mean that's honestly I feel like that's an excuse. Like um You you either have the magic or you don't. Like um what, what what's his name? Um Miyazaki, you know, uh, Studio Ghibli. Like, he had the magic, he still has got the magic. As far as I know. So, I mean, don't give me this, um... Oh, I'm burned out. Like... He was doing his Godzilla movie, he, he was doing everything but Evangelion. He, he put off his responsibility for so long. And then the finished product was basically a fuck you to fans. So... That's my thoughts on, um... Uh, rebuild of Evangelion. I did watch the um, the fourth movie uh, as soon as it dropped on uh, Amazon Prime, and I was just like, ah, it's like a million dicks. Miyazaki had the magic; uh, he knew when to dip too. This is also true. This is also true. I actually haven't watched anything that his son made. I think his son is like in charge of um, or he he at least started making movies. Studio Ghibli. So I haven't watched, um, what do you call it? Ponyo? I haven't watched, um, I think it was, was House Moving Castle his first one? Or was that, um, the original, um, like, Miyazaki's final movie? I think, I get the feeling it was the first for the son. Or the grandson, or whoever he is. I get it all mixed up. But also, looking back at those Ghibli films, they are very much products of their time. And, um, yeah. It's a separate movie based on a novel. Oh. I should research it. But, I mean, I can't even bring myself to watch The Boys. Because I'm kind of, I'm, I'm low-key concerned that it's going to be shit. Because I thought, it, I thought The Boys was going to be three seasons, but then said, no, 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 The Boys is going to be five seasons long, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Please no, God, no. 
No, not five seasons. Just finish the fucking thing. You don't need to drag it out because everyone loves it. That's probably the precise reason why you fucking... Like... <sighs> they see money and they think, Oh, let's make all of the money. Let's extract every drop from it. The boys is actually shit. Do you mean um season three or... Have you, like... Because I thought, like, season one and two were, like, okay. I was a bit concerned with some of the stuff in season two near the end, but... How urban, like, I still think he's good. I hate, I hate, hate, hate the main, um, love interest of Starlight. I just think he's an absolute fucking idiot. I thought one was good, two was okay, three ruined it. Fuck. I knew it. I fucking knew it. They can't help themselves. Oh, I will, I will have to see it, but... Yeah... I, I, that's what I thought was going to happen with season three. As soon as they announced, no, 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 we're going to make five seasons. Please spare me. Didn't they do the same with fucking Game of Thrones? Sorry, I'm swearing a lot. Because you angered me. You angered me with the truth that I can't handle at the moment. Stranger Things, I, I heard, was already ruined. I, I haven't watched one episode of Stranger Things. I don't need to. All it is is a uh, nostalgia baiting to nerds. That's all that from what I what I've seen and from what I've heard, all it is is nostalgia baiting. Oh, my steel has been upgraded. All right. So that means All right. Game of Thrones was upset they rushed it. They could have gotten 10 seasons and done story properly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I was getting fatigued by the time Season 4 came around. I was getting a bit fatigued. I I honestly hope that they, like, finished at Season 7. And just made every episode jam-packed. Because, I mean, if I'm going to read the books, I'll read the fucking books, you know? It's, it's no big. Okay, a few more. Okay, okay. Alright. Uh, also to this day, George, uh, George R. R. Martin, I think, right? Has not written any more books. Yep, he fucked them on purpose. Yep. He gave them the outline. But, like, let's, let's not, um, excuse the fact that the showrunners, the two Davids, like, they were not fit to, to do, um, their own material. They were good at adapting existing material. But they, they had no idea how to properly show run, like when they only had an outline. And that was um, quite evident in the um, last seasons. They completely ruined the franchise to the point where the spin off will probably be either killed off or be quietly cancelled. Like, no, no one cares about Game of Thrones anymore. They fucked it. They fucked it good. Have I got a heal equip? You caught most of that? Yeah. Yeah, so in summary, it's not really George R. Munn's fault. I mean, they knew what they were getting into. It's more the showrunners. Um, they didn't know how to handle it. Okay, we got a heal there. Well, it doesn't matter having two heals, does it? Well, let, let's see what else we got here. Hmm. I wonder if the death blow is going to... Hmm. We could have another steal. Sure. Because we got rid of one steal. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that seems fair. We still need to steal them uh, dragon scales, you see. 86. We need another uh, 13 more. I do not care about any new material from either HBO or uh, George R. R. Martin in the realms of Westeros. Yep. And um, it looks like um, Rings of Power, um, they're, they're adapting something from like um, the Similarian, I think, the indexes or something. There was a whole like copyright issue with um, Tolkien's work, but anyway, they, they got a hold of some, some stuff. And I think they've uh, since bought a lot of um, 
stuff from the Tolkien estate. But, um, yeah, Rings of Power is going to be absolute drizzling dog shit. And um, I refuse to watch it. It doesn't exist in my mind. Oh, the, the Hobbit was fucking terrible. Yeah, 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 I hated it. But the original three movies from um, uh, Steve Jackson, yeah, they hold up. Legendary. I, uh, I like them very much. But yes, no doubt, um, Hobbit was terrible. And put Legolas, just no. Uh, Orlando Bloom, like... They, they tried their best to de-age him, but... Uh, I did not actually watch The Hobbit. Oh. I mean, I did watch all three. Um, mostly, I think two of them I watched on an airplane. Um, yeah, it was just the drizzling shits. But, it did have certain scenes which I did like, I will admit. Like, um, the scene with, um, um, Bilbo and Smell. That was legit. Give me your scales! Prequels, yeah, nah, yep. I totally agree. Um, that said... The, um, the George Lucas, um... Prequels are... Kind of watchable? Kind of. Kind of. I don't like them, but they're, they're, they're watchable, they're serviceable. I'm like, okay, they exist and they're allowed to exist. For me, it was the original three. And from what I've since learned about the creation of Star Wars, apparently, like, it was saved in the edit. It was saved in the edit. I think after we get over Woke, the next big franchise to blow will be something like Warhammer. Nah. Nah. I think, um, Woke is a phase. But I mean, are there, are there recent directors that are blowing people away? And I don't think so. I mean, the last one was like, um, what? John Peel with his Get Out thing. But the hype around him has kind of disappeared. There's no such thing as, like, a, a big blockbuster anymore, I don't think. I can see in Games Workshop being with 4 billion, like, marble, or... What about Magic the Gathering, huh? What about that one? I mean, I, I don't know how to play Magic the Gathering, but... I assume it's still pretty popular. 87. I need 13 more. But how's the, uh, Materia doing? Oh... Hmm. I don't like the idea of, um... I, I will use a dragon scale on the worm. That will be the ultimate, um, insult. Excuse me. Come on, sea worm. Come on, sea... <laughs> Have I farmed, farmed them to extinction? They start getting smaller and smaller. I'm like, oh, you're you're the baby, huh? Okay. All right. So let's see. So this is what it looks like when you use it. It's just an aqualon. Takes off a fair bit of damage. Actually, magic. Sorry. That's one franchise with very little publicly understood storyline. Hmm. Well, there's all sorts of different things that they could do with it. It's very tightly integrated with um D and D, isn't it? Give me some scales. Thank you. Yeah, it's very upset when I steal these scales. I'm gonna be glad when we can get to this too. Holy shit. 
Obviously, I can go to disc 2 right now, but I want this achievement before I move on. We can do it too. We can do it. We can do it. <clears throat> I think the D&D thing is more recent and has been driven out of a re-emergence of D&D due to things like Stranger Things. Yep. Oh, and uh, Critical Role. Critical Role is the um, most successful channel on Twitch. And on YouTube. Well, it's high up there on YouTube, I'm guessing. Which you might think, that's impossible and like, you know, the numbers bear it out. Oh, let, let's give him a little meteor rain. Bop, 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 bop. Fuck are you? That's, that's the best limit break. It looks the best. Fuck on the slash. Yeah, I said it. I really dislike how the um, the chroma key isn't chroma keying out my um, my jumper. I just prefer this jumper, but if I have to, I will wear the other one. Or other ones. I wonder if... Oh! The, um, the big turtle also drops, um, dragon scales. That's interesting. Yeah, here it is. So, dragon scales... I'm just seeing how much they're worth. probably worth one. Yep, they're worth one. But they deal 3680 water elemental base damage to all enemies. So it's it's awesome. Oh, okay. This is incomplete. You'd think that something like this that's been around for like over a decade would be complete, but because the turtle also drops it randomly, but it doesn't say the information there. Interesting. Hmm. I have not really been paying attention to what you've been doing in the game, but I assume you're doing some silly random drop or grind quest. You are correct. Um, I'll briefly explain it. Uh, so. Hey, we've got this linked up to a thing called Retro Achievements. Okay. Um... And the quest itself is... is it this one? Ancient Steps Retraced. So for this achievement, you have to com do a com uh, full run of the Temple of the Ancients. Okay? Magic only. So no items, nothing. Initial equipment only. No healing. And you can't go into your menu. Because I think that also invalidates it, based on what someone said in the comments. So basically, clear um, this um, just using magic. Now you might be thinking, okay, you would just poison the boss. The final boss of this area is immune to poison. Which makes it really fucking difficult. So that's where we're at. And in terms of like... um. I just like the idea of being tasked with a pressing matter and instead going to some random beach in my private jet and just doing my own thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the fate of the world um, is in your hands. The world's going to end in like five hours. 
Yeah, I'm just going to the beach. See ya. <laughs> Fuck it. Not my responsibility. I'm just ham ham delegated to someone else. Just handball it. And this jet can't fly anymore. We uh, ruined it. Big shot up. The grind, the grind, um, will go on for a little bit longer, only a little bit longer. At the end of the last stream, we did attempt to, um, to do the achievement, and we got very fucking close. But we just ran out of magic. It is a highly optimized sort of run. So, I can't remember if I snatched his scales. No, he's, he's holding on to them. Give me your scales, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to dip for 10 or 20 and maybe back, but if not, I'll contact you on the weekend. Okay. No problem. Thanks for hanging. Take it easy, life. Oh. And, um... Cheers. Cheers. There's always something to steal. I could steal its life. Not alcohol, by the way. Just, um... Cordial, but... Hmm. Cheers. Do you think... Boop, 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 boop. Good boy, Cloud. How are we doing with the materia? All right, all right. So, okay. Um, like I said, um, we're killing the worm. It's two thousand, and um, everything that we've got on is doubling AP. So it's four hundred. So. 20, 22 more battles? No, wait, wait, wait. So, 20 times uh, 400 would be 8,000. And then, um, 3 more. So, it's it's more like 23 more battles. Yeah. So, we're about halfway through the grind. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So another thing to think about with this, he drops a uh, 5,000 gil. So if you buy a 10 for 500, that's 10 tents. So we can max out our tents just by finding this guy, just super easy. So we're setting ourselves up for the future. Sandworm grinding is an investment. Colorful it is. And I also like how much gold it's carrying too. I very much like that too. One more battle. Nice, we get this up to absorb absorb half level. So I think the first one is like um um absorb half. No way, sorry, reduce damage by half. 
then second level is nullify, and then third level is absorb half, and then fourth level master is fully absorb. Neat. All right, we're gonna um, level up quite a few of these magic materia very soon. That's very nice. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> Off the grind. Thank you, Daddy Sandworm. Barret. Barret getting angry. Big Shotter. That's like a rapper's name, right? Big Shotter. Ooh, that was a big shot. I can't wait until we finish this grinding, I'm gonna be honest with you. But that being said, that's just because it's repetitive. The rewards that I'm getting from it, it's actually quite significant. It's going to set us up for, like, the rest of the game. The rest of the game. So. Seal. Okay, transform Mr. Fire. Transform. Okay, Mystify hasn't been done yet, so we'll definitely do that one. Revive, I think, uh, Aries says that. Yep. I think we'll have access to life too soon. Oh, I mean, not soon, but you know. Kajata. Sick. All right. To think we're very soon going to have two mastered MP plus material, and that's going to allow us to do this um to do this run. I have to have quite specific um equipment on, which I'll be showing you before the uh, the attempt attempt number bloody twelve, who something like that. Who knows. But, uh, yeah. Quite the, uh, achievement. I've got plans to put this, um, series of gameplay on my YouTube channel at some point. That's going to be a project. This, as well as a lot of other streams, are going to go up. I just need to review them and edit them to, like, suitable length. Um... But they're coming. I'm not sure if anyone wants to watch them. But this is more for me. For m more for my um, video editing um, training. I'm training myself slowly. I also want to learn a bit more about um, um, image editing and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it interests me in a hobby sense. Bonk. Want to start breeding chickens on this too? It's going to be good. I'm breeding them chickabows. And I think the start of this too is like one of my favorite places in the entire game. I think it's um like a, I don't I don't know what you call it. It's like the village where you get a bit more backstory on um, Eris, and um, it's all snowy and like people snowboarding and the music's interesting and it's like a, 
a, a time of the game where um you feel like the game's really completely opened up. I look forward to it. Are we getting close? We're getting real close. Not good yet. Aries to get him? No. There we go. Bonk. It was very interesting linking um, Odin to added effect, and then putting it on Yuffie, and then when she does the um, what do you call it? The one where she goes ape shit, she starts you know chop and chop, chop, chop. Like they're all like chances to give like um, instant death. So it's like, oh wow, this is quite broken. But we had to. Um, even though we went through and got everything, got the Leviathan Materia. Apparently, that's the very last place that you can get the Trine enemy skill. So we're holding off um, that particular one. I could clap Godo's cheeks right now, but like... We need that Trine on the fourth enemy skill. Did I steal the scales? I can't even remember. Hmm. Alright. Last uh, chance. Good boy, Cloud. Good boy, Cloud. Gravity was born.